What is it, guys? Your boy since with you coming out as day one tutorial of one of three tutorials in each day by day. And day one is going to teach you guys basically how to make, uh, make a nice basic render. Uh, basic meeting, I'm just going to be showing you guys how to use like Nitro Blast plugin. And uh, that's basically much it. I'm just going to be talking about a little bit more stuff inside this video. So when you want to get comfortable with Cinema 40, you can. And uh, this is for people who like lack of just like, you know, Cinema 4D. Or, uh, you know, so-and-so CCs, render setups, background blending, and all that cool stuff. Because that's going to be all done and this covered in this, like, you know, three-day tutorial thing. So, uh, yeah, day one's going to be us doing um, basic, a basic render inside Cinema 4D. And then day two will be inside Photoshop, making a CC for that render. And, like, a nice render setup, plus, like, filters you can do to make it look a little bit better. And then day three is going to be uh, putting that render inside... Um, the background and just showing you guys nice blending settings and just how to how I go about making my backgrounds and stuff and um, just you know final touches you can do when you're done with everything so uh, yeah so I have this like running on the background a little bit this is basically what I'm gonna be remaking uh, it doesn't look really that well because I didn't really want to use these lavas I don't really like using lava it's dumb so uh, yeah let's get started I'm sure you guys don't want to freaking watch this so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and delete everything besides this because I don't want to do this all over again putting that inside so right here we have the Dare logo with a nice little material on it, which is going to be grunge. Uh, it's a grunge material. Uh, one quick tip is try not to use like a solid color on side like the um, the uh, render, because unless it's like your type of style. But if you're like getting new to uh, Cinema 4D and you just want to like take a note from you know someone like a little bit more better or experienced than you, uh, you can just trust me on this try and play with grunge it's way more simple to make backgrounds with make way more easier and way more easy to blend and all that cool stuff and uh... cause you know it just doesn't look right if you just put blue on i mean like it, maybe it to your eyes it does but i'm guarantee you if you use grunge you're gonna love it way more so uh... i use uh... con uh... concrete which is also found in the material pack of x10 or whatever is or xn 1.2 materials. Everything you see in this video, every material you see in this video is going to be in the description. Uh, materials to plugins of Nitro Blast is going to be in here, so in the description. So if you want to go ahead and download all that stuff, if you don't have it, go get it. And uh, if you want to use these materials, all you got to do is download the description and uh, go make sure you like that video. Uh, it's gonna be, I'm going to link it to the video, and then you guys are going to like the video first, and then you're going to download it. And then you're probably going to say Cecil sent you too, because that would be cool. So uh, yeah, what you want to do is when you have it downloaded, you just want to go into your Cinema 4D, you just want to right click on your Cinema 4D and go to Properties. And uh, when you go to properties, you just want to press file, open file location, and then you want to go to library, browser, and then drag that lib4d file inside here, and then you're set. And then all you got to do is when you open Cinema 4D up, you can just have, when you have it in there, you just want to go to content browser, and then you have the <clears throat> materials that you want to choose from. So I use Moonies a lot, uh, Xens, and then perfect real textures. So uh, yeah, those are what's in my hotbar right now. And uh, let's get this thing going. I don't want to use these, so I don't want them to be showing. There we go. And either this is, I need this, this. Okay. So, uh, like I said, try and use concrete, I mean, try and use grunge uh, materials for when you're doing background stuff. And uh, like I said, this video is for, like, real, like, people who just want to, you know, learn Cinema 4D a little bit more and, like, take tips. So, uh, yeah. I use concrete, and uh, you always want to change the projection from UV mapping to either cubic so you can see like what's on the thing like the grunge or whatever and uh, just brings out the material way more better you just should always do that so you should, uh, you should always change it either proje uh, your projection to either cubic or frontal uh, frontal looks really good on this you know you gotta just render it out to see what it looks like uh, it looks better for me on frontal just because I just feel like it does and if I were to put it on cubic you can see that it changes it up a little bit if I were to render it out uh, you know for me it just changes it changes for me okay don't be mean so let's get going I'm pretty sure you guys are a little bit more like what the hell is he doing uh, so always start off with your AI changing it to uh, fill a cap for both start and end on the caps section and then your uh, depth is your opinion it's whatever it's gonna be on your object and then you change that to whatever and so uh, basically what we're gonna do now is gonna duplicate this and we're gonna go ahead and go click on these two nerves and then you wanna go to nitro blast so we have nitro blast main right here and like I said if you wanna download it's in the description uh, you want to change your quality to high. Your piece is to 250, no higher than like 500 because it's just ridiculous. It doesn't mean anything. Just brace it a little bit with smaller pieces. I mean, it's whatever you want to do that for like a style or whatever. <clears throat> but this is just me to teach you guys how to use Nitro Blast basically. And uh, we're just going to break this now. Um, let's do this. Come on. 
The first one's almost done. You can see it right there. So, uh, what is else to talk about? Like I said, I don't use, like, you know, one, like, neutral color for, like, the plain logo. You try and use grunges a lot. It's way easier to work with. And, uh, this is almost done. Right? Yes, it is. And, uh, for Adventure Blast, the first one, the yellow, is the, oops, the first one is the inside color. The second one is the outside color. So, for the first, you can delete these two because we're not going to use these colors. Uh, for the inside, I'm going to use, like, a nice, uh, grunge. You can use a color for this. Uh, the inside is where you should use the color, because, you know, just add color inside your render, because not all the time you're going to have color if you just only use grunge, but it's whatever if you only use grunge. I do it myself, so it's whatever. Uh, and then I'm going to add, like, a nice dark grunge for the outside. Uh, like I said, this is all a personal opinion. This is me trying to teach you how to use stuff and uh, not just focus on, like, you know, the newbie side of you. I don't know. I'm not trying to sound like a n dick or anything. I'm just trying to be, like, as... I don't know, whatever. So as uh, as you see here, I have my Nitro Blast extrude here for both of these, and you just want to drop down this, and then also drop down main pieces, and then drop down dynamic pieces, and then um, what you want to do is just take all the pieces, go to MoGraph, <coughs> Fracture, and then you just want to take all these pieces and put it in that fracture. So we're going to do that right now for you guys. Just drag this up, like so, and then drag these pieces down, and then drag it up, like so. <clears throat> I definitely missed the fracture, didn't I? Yes, I did. Where's it at? There we go. Put that inside there. Don't you dare do that again. And I gotta scroll it back up. And then, so we don't need this anymore since we just put our pieces all in the fracture. So when you're on the fracture, you just want to click on the fracture. You want to go to MoGraph Effector and then Random. And then Random, what it does is just breaks it into small little pieces, like so, as you can see. And uh, the inside color is this color right here, the dark and simple. That's why you really can't see it, but it's like, you know, dark on some of these, on the insides. Uh, this is where you should add your color if you want to add a little bit more color. And then, uh, just now what you want to do is you want to just tone down the random a little bit. You know, you broke it, so you just want to, like, uh, turn down the strength on your random. So we're going to put it to, like, 55. I'm trying to get, like, general numbers out there so you can just use that. And uh, let's a quick tip, as you can see, like where my, sc you know, when you're trying to move your stuff and you can't like see it in the middle, and it's like sometimes it's like all the way down here. Uh, quick tip, if you just click on this little L thing right here, uh, this little L graph looking thing, and then you just drag it up while it's selected, it moves this like movement tool. So as you unclick it, it will just drag it the right way and just drag it where it needs to be, or you know, in plain sight. Besides, like trying to rotate it while it's like all the way over there or something, it's just stupid. It's annoying. Trust me. So uh, now that we have it in front of us, we can just move the tool. We're gonna try and push the uh, push. <laughs> We're trying to push the pieces back a little bit inside, so you can still kind of see some pieces come forward, but also you know you just don't want to have the logo being covered by the pieces unless it's just pointless and just dumb. So as you can see, you're just gonna leave it like that. I think that's fine. And uh, huh. there's a lot more broken pieces on that side. It's pretty dumb how that does that. So well, there we go. We have that piece broke. So now what we're going to do is we're going to kind of like put that color on that thing right now uh, for the first, you know, thing. So I'm going to put that on frontal. There we go. And I'm going to duplicate this really quick. And uh, for some reason for this AI, for dar, uh, dare AIs only, my bad for the squeaky chair. Um, sometimes when I do this next thing I'm going to show you guys to do like outline so you can like see the render more. Uh, it's array, array, atom array. And you want to drag your uh, whatever AI you're using inside your atom array. And then you want to go to your cylinder and uh, sphere. You just want to change the sphere to 0.6, and it should change the cylinder also. So uh, also, you can see, like I talked about, uh, that's how you get that like really cool. Like if you put like a material on it, so you can like add like a outline. Uh, as you can hear, sometimes your AI has like these little lines to it, because I don't know why that happens. I don't know how to fix it either. So it sucks. But uh, it has these little lines. I don't know how to fix that. So. If that does that for your AI, uh, it's sometimes it's always is for my dare ones, but not all of them, so it's whatever. But uh, if you don't want, if you don't want to have that happen, you can just do it the simpler, uh, the simple way, which is I'm just gonna drag this. You don't need the atom array for this part. If you were to duplicate this and have that color on, you want to use. You just want to click on both of them. You want to go to your caps and go to fill it cap, and then um, <clears throat> I'm gonna drag this up really quick. There we go. And then we're just gonna push this forward just a little bit more than what's in front of the uh, thing right here. And then maybe also get rid of the uh, radius to two and change them to one for both of them so you don't see it on the outside right here. And only on the inside. So you can see it's like a little bit more cooler and you can see the more uh, the logo more distinct. It's whatever. So uh, there you go. And now I'm just going to do another fracture or another nitro blast. Um, 
basically this is what we're going to be doing. It's just me Nitro Blasting stuff and just make a nice little basic render for you guys uh, with Nitro Blast. So, s quality high. Put that pieces on 250. There we go. And then uh, what I'm going to do for this one is going to put like a, uh, a lighter grunge. And maybe if, you know, also if you want to add a little bit more color, you can do color or you put a lava effect on if you want. Uh, lava materials in those packs or those material packs I sent out for you guys in the description. So uh, let's get this going. Come on, break, break it, break it. Come on, it's almost done. And boom. All right, so I'm gonna delete these two again. We're not gonna use these. And I'm gonna put on the material one for the inside. And then I'm gonna put no, I'm gonna put material one for the outside. And then I'm gonna put this cool little tech. Uh, tech. It's like pretty cool looking. It looks cool to me, at least. So I'm gonna put that on the inside. Um. Like I said, I like grunge a lot, so I don't use color a lot. I just, you know, put the color on the outsides, like, you know, how you see it. Uh, MoGraph, Fracture, drag these pieces inside the Fracture. Drag that up. Boom, 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 boom. And then there we go. We're going to drag that inside there. And then we're going to randomize it again. We're going to delete that. Click with the Fracture, random. <clears throat> Okay, where, where, where'd it go? It just disappeared. Uh oh, never mind, it's there. I'm lying. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and <coughs> drag this in back of it a little bit more. And uh, my thing is not showing, so I gotta drag this up real quick. I know it's down there. I know I see you hiding. There we go. Pull this back more. Just so you can still see the pieces, though. Maybe I'll break this a little bit more, because it's, like, it's totally even with the other one. It's weird. Uh, random. Break it a little bit more. And pull this back. And then we're done with that. So there we go. We got that going. And uh, like I said, you guys, this is real basic just using Nitro Blast. But if you want to do like add-on effects, I do tutorials. And I put add-on effect inside the, t uh, the title. So if you want to like go ahead and just look those up, you know, add on more, some more stuff to your render or whatever. And uh, also explore in Cinema 4D yourself. And uh, come up with new styles and stuff. So it's whatever. So um, is that basically it right here? Do I want to add, like, color on the outside? I don't know. You tell me what you guys think. Yeah, I'm just reading your minds right now. Uh-huh. I would do that, right? I should do that. I'm going to, like, turn this a little bit so that you know how the pieces are exactly the same. I'm going to kind of turn this a little bit so they don't look exactly alike. And I want to turn it right. So let's go ahead and fix this. That tool is, like, my blessing right here. All right, there we go. So if I rotate it a little bit, it would be exactly the same. It would be a little bit more different from my eyes. All right, there we go. So basically, that's our render. Uh, I usually sometimes add my like uh, my little virus style to it, but I'm not going to show you guys how to do that because uh, it's different, a little bit more different. But you can do the, ver uh, the virus style version 1 if you want. But it's whatever. This is basically it. This is us using Nitro Blast. Uh, just tips to remember is just always use a Lightroom also when you're doing uh, stuff. And then uh, you see I'm using my light room, the lights up there, and then you have like surrounding lights around it. It's pretty cool. You can see those little boxes, those are lights. So uh, yeah, uh, quick thing also is to give your render a little bit more of like a, a variety. You can just group all this together when you're done with uh, whatever you're doing. Uh, you can add chains and stuff. You know, it's all your opinion. That's all add-on effects and stuff. So all you want to do is press Control G. I mean Alt G. Whoops. Alt G groups it all together, and then I'm gonna just put this little thing in, in the middle again with this tool like so and now what you want to do is you just want to play with the camera angle where it's viewing your logo because having it at front is perfectly fine I mean it's whatever but if you like have a cool little like side view of it or well, it's like tilted a little bit it gives your render a little bit more like distinct like cool feel to it I don't know what else to say besides it looks cool um, so I'm gonna rotate it a little bit like so and it's just so I can see the logo with more of the pieces on the sides of it and uh, there we go. To me, that looks fabulous. You can still see the logo and see more of the pieces and stuff. So that's our render, guys. Uh, just basically using Nitro Blast and stuff. So uh, hopefully you guys understood this and you know took some of the tips I gave you. And this is for real basic people. So I'm sorry for the people who like I'm just so bored. What is he doing? Being a tour on something I already know. I'm sorry. You know, I'm sorry. Not for everyone. I just you know plan on helping people get better at graphics because a lot of people are out there just always new people getting uh, into like 3D backgrounds and stuff so here's my gift to you so day two tomorrow giving you guys a tutorial on how to make a nice little really nice CC and then also multicolored CC 
and then render setup and then uh you know filter galleries and stuff we're gonna mess around with. So I'll see you guys later. Uh switch you out. See you on day two. Peace.